From the ice bucket challenge to the cinnamon challenge, internet challenges spread like wildfire across social media. But what makes some of these challenges so irresistible, while others barely get noticed? In today's video, we're breaking down the science behind viral internet challenges, uncovering the psychological triggers, social pressures, and media strategies that make them so contagious. The Anatomy of a Viral Challenge Let's start with what makes a challenge go viral in the first place. A viral challenge isn't just random, it often follows a few key elements that make it easy to share and participate in. First, they're simple and memorable. Most viral challenges are easy to understand at a glance and don't require special skills to participate. They often follow a clear format either completing a task, performing an action, or testing a personal limit. This simplicity is essential for making challenges accessible and repeatable. The power of social validation and peer pressure. One of the biggest factors driving viral challenges is social validation, the human desire for acceptance and recognition. Research shows that we're more likely to do something if we see others doing it. This phenomenon, known as social proof, is heightened on platforms like Instagram, TikTok, and YouTube, where likes, views, and shares are visible metrics of popularity. When people see their friends or favorite influencers participating, it increases the perceived value of joining in. The Psychology of FOMO Fear of Missing Out Another powerful motivator for participating in viral challenges is FOMO, or the fear of missing out. No one wants to feel left behind or out of the loop. This feeling drives people to participate just to avoid feeling excluded. FOMO has been amplified by social media, where we're constantly reminded of what others are doing, which creates a cycle where people feel almost compelled to jump in, even if they wouldn't normally. The Role of Dopamine and Rewards Viral challenges are designed to hook us psychologically. One of the key brain chemicals involved in this process is dopamine, also known as the feel-good hormone. Dopamine is released when we do something rewarding, like getting likes, shares, or comments on social media. Viral challenges offer a double reward, the fun of completing the challenge and the satisfaction of getting recognition from others. This dopamine hit creates a positive feedback loop, making us more likely to repeat similar actions. The Role of Media and Algorithms But there's another factor that drives these challenges into the spotlight, the algorithms that power social media platforms. Social media algorithms are designed to prioritize content that keeps users engaged. When a challenge starts gaining momentum, platforms pick up on the trend and begin to promote similar content to more users. This snowball effect can quickly take a small trend and turn it into a global sensation. The power of novelty and surprise. Part of what makes viral challenges so appealing is their novelty. Research shows that the brain responds strongly to new or surprising information, and viral challenges play into this curiosity. Challenges that are novel or unconventional make people stop scrolling and pay attention, increasing the chances of engagement. This element of surprise can even create trends around seemingly silly or risky challenges, as the unusual nature of these challenges generates curiosity. The influence of social identity and belonging. Beyond the individual motivation to join, many people participate in challenges because of a sense of group identity and belonging. Participating in a viral challenge can make people feel like they're part of a larger community or movement, especially when a challenge is linked to a cause, like the Ice Bucket Challenge for ALS Awareness. This connection to a group or cause adds a deeper level of motivation for people who might otherwise hesitate to participate. The Risk Factor When Challenges Go Too Far While many viral challenges are harmless, others can push people into risky or dangerous behavior. This is known as the risk-glory cycle, where the thrill of doing something dangerous becomes a badge of honor. For some participants, the added danger actually makes a challenge more appealing, adding an adrenaline rush that boosts engagement. However, this risk factor has led to concerns among experts and calls for platforms to better regulate potentially harmful trends. Why some challenges fail to go viral? So, if we know what makes a challenge go viral, why do some challenges flop? Often, it's because they lack one of the core elements we've discussed, such as novelty, social validation, or simplicity. Challenges that are too complicated, too niche, or that lack a strong visual element usually don't catch on as well. 
Social media rewards content that's fast, fun, and easy to replicate, so even if a challenge is creative, if it's too hard to participate in or lacks a clear payoff, it may fail to spread. Are viral challenges here to stay? With new platforms and trends constantly emerging, viral challenges have proven to be more than just a fad, they're a part of modern internet culture. They adapt to new platforms, reflect current events, and keep evolving to capture attention in new ways. Whether they're funny, risky, or inspiring, viral challenges tap into fundamental aspects of human behavior, and they're likely here to stay. Now that you know the science behind viral challenges, what's your take? Have you ever participated in one? Or have you been tempted to join in because of FOMO or social validation? Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the bell icon to stay updated on our latest videos where we dive into fascinating internet phenomena and trends.